Well, a battle is brewing in St. John's between city officials and food truck vendor Steve Smith, who owns Long Dick's Sausage Emporium. Mr. Smith says the city has ruined his business. City officials do not agree. Here's NTV's Dave Squires. Oh, where, oh, where has Long Dick's Sausage Emporium gone? The owner says since opening up last year, the city has bounced him around and systematically run him out of business. And when he finally thought he found a permanent spot here behind me, his food truck was towed. But the city says they have done everything they can to help this business out. This is where Long Dick's food truck currently resides, impounded behind a cage. Not the dream Steve Smith had for his business when he opened in downtown St. John's last year. He says since he hit the streets with his food truck, he has been in a battle with the city over power line permit and now snow clearing issues. Down to the bare minimum, uh, the, the business is dead. I mean, there's no cash flow left. I mean, the latest trouble arose when the city asked him to move a few spaces away from his new spot to make it easier to tear down an old building. But then last week's snowstorm hit and the truck became buried. I said, even if I wanted to, I can't get at it. It's, you've buried me in. With your so the city towed and impounded the truck. And now Mr. Smith says he is at the end of his rope, calling out the city for abusing their power, making him jump loopholes and ruining his business. Now he is threatening legal action. Gloves are off at this point, uh, and I'm going down swinging if I'm going down. Under the terms of the lease, uh, the snow clearing of, of his site is his responsibility. So. But Mayor O'Keefe and Director of Building and Property Management David Blackmore says the city has bent over backwards to make Long Dick's work, even giving him a prime location. This, uh, this just disgusts me. Hmm. Mayor O'Keefe says it's unfair Mr. Smith is giving the city a bad name in which to do business. Mr. Smith feels that he should have some kind of special status. Despite the differences between the two sides, the city says Mr. Smith is still welcome to do business. Until then, his food truck lies here behind bars at the city depot. Dave Squires, NTV News.